All right, YouTube SEO. This is something that I had no clue about when I was starting my YouTube channel and that I have like developed a knowledge in the more that I've done it, but I thought I'd spare you the hassle of trying to learn everything by yourself and actually show you how you can utilize the YouTube SEO to get way more views on your videos way faster than if you don't use the YouTube SEO. So let's jump into it. I really like making these videos every once in a while, like when, where we talk about like how to grow your YouTube channel and what you can do and what I've done to like improve my videos and improve my ranking of my videos and make my channel grow faster than it otherwise would have. And I think like it's fun for you to see how I managed to grow my channel and what you can apply on your own channel whenever you're starting out or maybe you just started out and you're thinking to yourself like, I have no idea on how to uh, do things, well, but take this, eh? I'm here, I'm gonna help you. SEO stands for Search Engine, Opti Opti o Search Engine Optimization. Search Engine Optimization. And the reason why I wanna bring this up as a topic is because it's one of the absolute most important things when it comes to your YouTube videos and reaching a bigger audience when you're posting your videos. Because the first couple of videos that I uploaded here onto my channel was not considering SEO at all. So the way that I did it when I uploaded my first couple of videos was that I wrote PLV and then dash title of the video and then just like wrote something in the description description that I thought was relevant to the video and then posted the video. But what I didn't think of was that no one is going to search for PLV. Like P P PLV stands for PL vlog, which is Peter Linger vlog. And there's not going to be anyone that is going to search for that unless they actually follow my channel. But in the beginning, I didn't have any subscribers and there was certainly no one that would search for PLV. Like that is for sure. And I think that the SAO was something that I didn't think about for like one and a half years. And I still remember like the first video that actually started my like SEO hunt to find the perfect title and description for my videos. And that was the Sony 7200 F4 lens review that I posted like somewhere in December of 2000. 18? And I think that one of the main reasons why that video started to get like a surge in views is because I was really considering like the title, the description, and the thumbnail of the whole thing to make it cohesive and make it searchable and try to think of what this is going to generate if people search for it. And the way that I found this out was that I started to use a plugin for Chrome that is called TubeBuddy that I use to this day to find good topics for my videos. Say for example that you want to make a video on Sony lenses, then what you type into the search bar is going to be Sony lenses. And as you can see on the search explorer that TubeBuddy provides when you've installed the plugin, there is a whole lot of search volume on Sony lenses, but you can see that the competition within that search topic is going to be very poor because there's so many people that are uploading videos on that particular topic that if you're not a big channel, you're probably gonna have a hard time to reach any bigger audience within that particular search keyword. But the thing is, you can still narrow down the title and the keywords to make your content more searchable. And to do that, you're just gonna click here on the weighted tab, and then you're gonna see the unweighted right here, which is going to be like the overall score that it's gonna be if you upload a video onto your channel. But if you go to the weighted tab, then you can see that the score for your specific channel, if you upload a video with this title, is actually gonna be very good. But this is totally gonna depend on what kind of stuff that you are uploading to your channel. And looking at score analysis, you can see that search volume is a extremely high and they have the competition towards your channel and all the other channels that are out there and then you also have the optimization strength which is basically how well optimized the all other videos are on that particular search keyword that you entered so if i were to narrow down my search result i would probably try to find something like sony lenses 
for the particular use that you're gonna use the lenses for or that you wanna talk about lenses. Say for example that you're gonna talk about portrait lenses, then you might want to like dive deeper into like Sony lenses for wedding photography or if you're gonna talk about like how to make money on social media then you can narrow down like how to make money on social media in 2020 using Instagram and Twitter because then you narrow down the search to a much much more narrower search word than what you originally started out with. And when you're posting your videos as a smaller channel or as a growing YouTube channel, one of the most important things that you should do is that you should have a really good title that is going to be searchable because if people can search for your content, they're gonna have a much easier time to actually find your channel and watch your content. But you should also have that title, the first thing that you have in the description of your video. You can see that this video is titled how to make money on social media in 2020. And the first thing in the description is how to make money on social media in 2020. And the reason for it is because you wanna have the title and the description to include all the keywords that you have to search engine optimize your videos to make it more searchable. And then scrolling down, Further in the description, you can see that in this video, I talk about how to make money on social media in 2020. So we have it once again in the description of our video, and that makes it a total of three times just in the title and the description of this video. And looking at the name of the file that I uploaded, it's also how to make money on social media, but not 2020. But this is something that you should also consider before you're uploading it to YouTube because the MP4 file is also something that YouTube takes into consideration when it's searching for the content that is uploaded for YouTube and trying to provide like the right videos to the audience that is searching for that particular topic. And looking at the thumbnail, I also named that how to make money on social media to be able to like make this as searchable as possible. And this is something that I do to all my videos to make sure that I search engine optimize all my videos as good as I can within the particular topic that I upload. Unless I upload vlogs or something like that where I just have fun and make videos for the sake of making videos. But then again, as I've stated in a bunch of my previous videos, it's gonna be really important that the thumbnail is going to be clickable and that you put a lot of effort into making something that is intriguing for people to click on because that is gonna like dictate how many clicks you will get on your video. And it's also gonna be really important that the content actually provides the value to the viewer that they were searching for because otherwise it's gonna be really hard to actually grow your audience. But uh, yeah, that is everything that I do to search engine optimize my videos and get views faster on my YouTube channel. And uh, I hope that that helped you to find a better way and better path forward from here on. And if you liked the video, do give it a thumbs up because that would be highly appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed, it's gonna be right here. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching and uh, Peter from Sweden is saying goodbye once again. Have a good one. See you in the next video. Shingling, ha det bra. Hey hey. Har du gött denna? Göteborg. Hoo!